Good morning, boys and girls. We are on the last week of April. April is almost gone. We've been without each other for almost six weeks. That's a long time. A lot of sleeps. Um, today, we're going to talk about some zoo animals. Can you guys name a zoo animal? Yeah, we got zebras, lions. Yeah, what else? Elephants, okay. What else? Dogs, no, you don't usually see dogs in a zoo. You usually have a dog, dogs at home, but probably not in a zoo. What else? Another zoo animals can you name? How about tigers? Yeah. Uh, what's the thing with the long neck? <gasps> Giraffe, good job. What about, let's see. What about really long horns? Mm, not deer. I don't know if you've seen these before. Antelope? Antelope? Yeah. What's, what's some of the areas that you can go in? Let's see. We have a snake area. Yeah. A petting zoo. What animals do petting zoos have in them? Like farm animals? Yeah. Like cows? Pigs, lambs, goats, chickens maybe, maybe a cow. What do you think? Yeah, that's what I think. Okay, let's see. What other areas? Oh, the reptile area, right? Where we have snakes and frogs, maybe turtles. And usually there's some kind of aquatic area with water, right? Um, let's see. If we have an aquatic area with water, that's going to be what? Fish? Yeah. Maybe dolphins? Whales? Maybe. If you're in an aquarium, probably whales. Maybe a sea turtle? So all kinds of animals that you can see at the zoo. Lots and lots of different things. Our book for today is Never Ever Shout in a Zoo. Never ever shout in a zoo because if you do, anything might happen. And I and don't say I didn't warn you. If you shout in a zoo, you might scare a bear, a giant bear, a giant grouchy bear, a giant grouchy grizzly bear that weighs 2,023 pounds. And if you scare the bear, he might discharge a large charge, a large barge of a charge right through the bars of his cage. Uh-oh. Don't say I didn't warn you. And if that bear gets loose, he might charge past a moose, past a moose, a large, or a big bull, a big moose, a big bull moose, a big bull moose with a bad attitude. And if that moose sees the bear running loose, he might get an idea, a dreadful idea, a dreadful, disastrous idea that he should run free like the bear. Uh-oh. Don't say I didn't warn you. And if the moose escapes, he might not, might trot past the apes. All those apes, those clever apes, those clever and cunning apes that love to play practical jokes. And if those apes should happen to spy the moose and the bear as they clatter on by, they might come up with a plan, a malicious plan, a malicious, mischievous plan to break out like the moose and the bear and set the animals loose everywhere. Uh-oh, don't say I didn't warn you. And if those apes could do as they please, they'd probably steal the zookeeper's keys. They'd let out the hippos. They'd let out unleash the lions. They'd set free the tigers and kangaroos, the snakes, the flamingos, the crocodiles, and every single beast in the zoo. Uh-oh. 
Don't say I didn't warn you. All those creatures would scatter about. All because of a shout, one shout, one innocent little shout, one innocent little shout that started the whole mess. And all those animals running wild might lock up each man, woman, and child at the zoo, including you. I warned you. You can't say I didn't. And there you would be in a pen. Then what would you do to get out? You'd probably shout. But haven't I warned you? Never, ever shout in a zoo. I think right now she's visiting a museum. It says new exhibit, dinosaur frozen in ice from the Arctic. Uh-oh. There might be a problem in museums too. Put another shot in there. Now today we're gonna to talk a little more about animals. And if you um, can go outside, you could do this activity outside. But if it's a yucky day, you can do it inside. So if you have stuffed animals or plastic animals, um, you may certainly find them with your blocks or if you have a big piece of paper or cardboard. And we're going to make a zoo. Now, if you're outside, you can make it in your sandbox or in your yard. And you can use sticks and leaves and other things that you find in the yard or if you have some um, rock or bushes or things like that. You could put your animals in there and pretend that they're in the zoo. Or you could uh, also do it inside. If you have some boxes left over from somewhere, some small boxes or bigger boxes, depending on how big your animals are, you can do those and put your animals in there. So how about that? Um, I think that I have a zoo right here. Let's turn you around so you can see my zoo. Well, that didn't work very well, did it? Let's try this one. Okay, now you can see my zoo. My zoo I just did on a poster board. And we have our barn animals over here. Remember we talked about our, our petting zoo. Whoops, there they are. Our chicken and our lamb are ready to be petted. And over here is our lion. And there's a girl and a boy lion. Yeah. Then we have a tiger over here. In the middle is our seal. <laughs> I don't know if I can make all these animal noises. Maybe you guys can. Here's our zebra. And our bird in the trees. There's lots of birds. I forgot about the aviary at the zoo. There's an aviary at the zoo. And our other part of the petting zoo, which would be our cows, horses, pigs, that kind of thing. Yeah. And there's lots of other things at the zoo that you can pretend that you are at the zoo. So I encourage you to make your own zoo. I had fun making mine. And just use anything that you have around the house. If you have stuffed animals, those will work too. It doesn't matter what kind of animal you use. Or you can make your own animals. If you don't have animals, mm, I had to borrow some from church because I didn't. How about that? All right, do you guys like to do a song? Okay, now some of you like going on a bear hunt and some of you don't. So we're gonna try going on a bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt. Are you afraid? I'm not afraid. Okay, let's go on this adventure together. So everybody. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt.
one of our favorite songs okay also if you're feeling creative you could draw a picture of an animal there are plenty of 
little things like this. See, that's a lion. Isn't that easy? That doesn't take long. You could draw a lion. Or, whoops, that's not the way. I need another way. Or a giraffe. See, it's just some circles and some legs. They're not really hard. So you could draw a picture of an animal and send it to your teacher. She would love to see that. So if you would draw a picture of an animal, take it, have mom and dad take a picture of it and send it to your teacher, that would be fabulous. I'm sure that would make her day. So bye for now. Mwah.